yesterday, this chamber passed House Bill 2165, which repealed the sunset on county multidisciplinary teams, the focus on crimes regarding adults with disabilities. The bill passed without the support of many members of this chamber who hail from rural parts of our state. The lack of support for House Bill 2165 directly reflected the severe lack of resources surrounding Oregon's entire justice system. The state pays the salaries of district attorneys, the counties pay for their deputies, facilities, and staff. Benton County is currently facing a $5 million shortfall for the upcoming biennium, and cuts to the district attorney's office seem likely. Further cuts will only compound an existing problem in the Benton County's justice system. Even now, the Benton County district attorney, with whom I spoke this morning, told me that he needs four more deputies just to cover 50% of his current workload. The Benton County District Attorney compared such efforts as HB 2165 to taking an old beat-up car in a state of disrepair, which needs a new transmission, a new engine, and new tires, and instead of fixing up any of the internal problems, just putting a coat of armor all and wax over the top and declaring that it looks pretty good. Also, there was a point, at one point in the floor speeches, there was a reference to any implications that House Bill 2165 might have for victims of rape and crimes, sexual assault, mainly against women. We don't have a crystal ball, so there's no way of confirming or disconfirming this assertion, but it does strike me as being highly hyperbolic. Already, there are statutorily required sexual assault response teams, child abuse multidisciplinary teams, domestic violence MDTs, and various more individualized groups throughout our state designed to carefully investigate and prosecute crimes against women and others. Keeping yet another unfunded mandate under our system is unlikely to make any difference whatsoever in the investigation and prosecution of crimes against the people HB 2165 is designed to protect, or women or men, anywhere. The original statute for which HB 2165 removed a sunset had served its purpose and run its course. Keeping another requirement on our fellow elected officials, the district attorneys, is not going to fix our justice system's broken engine.